Yeah. All right. What it do, what it do, everybody. It's your man, Black Guy, at the voice, rap98.com. We live with another exclusive. I don't even want to introduce this man. Y'all already know who it is, man. If you're on my platform, you got to know who this man is yeah. right now. I'm yeah. going to leave it to you. Tell the people who you are and what you're doing, my man. It's T Rail, man. Also, Big Rail is my new name. Uh, Big Rail. <laughs> Big dog action, man. Yeah, so, up? man, you on on the heels of a huge, huge success right now. The wave is crazy. God. It's okay to be solid now. Huh? God, man, bro. But I mean, it ain't like, man, I have ever seen anything else from T Real though. Like, man, from your philanthropy work, yeah, you know, to uh, just being a honest and transparent artist, which the guy ain't missing, man. Yeah. So, um. Talk to us a little bit about, man, who T-Rail is, man, where you come from, and how you arrived at where you at. Man, I'm just a big dog from Kansas, bro, um, Midwest. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people think I'm from the South, and I'm from Midwest. Okay, okay. But I, I be in the South so much, I feel like I'm from her. It's a lot of love in the Midwest, though. Like, yeah. plenty. I can't even lie, like. Yeah, we love, we love South, Southern artists. Real you know? shit. That's where I get my influences from. Wow. Tell who, who are some of your influences, about? Oh, man, it's a, like Southern influence. Southern influence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, if I, I can go. I had that. to narrow that down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, Boosie. Boosie. Boosie, dope. Boosie's my Definitely. biggest Southern influence because I toured with Boosie for about three years. That's a long time to be on the road with somebody. Yeah, I, I, I've been on the road. I was on the road for Boosie when he got out of prison. You know, I went for like three years. Got Folks use the word a little bit lightly, but after three years on, that's family. Like, the word family. That's yeah. family. Yeah, Boosie, my brother. Like, no question about I it. I call brother. him. I call him. He answer. I pick up. You know, we clown with each other. That's my dog. Yeah. That's my partner. You know, I, I learned the game from Boosie. I learned how to... A lot of people don't understand that. You know, like, uh, yeah. like I, I came in here to features today. Because nobody even owe you shit, though, man. So no. when somebody... Just like what you did today. Yeah. When somebody that's stepped a, that's out, man... Move. Bro. That's what I learned from Boosie. And I'm talking about, man, I don't take my head off a lot coming by here. But to you, bro, you get that for yeah. sure. For real, I, I, learned, I learned that from him, bro. Like I move, how I move around and and, and carry myself. It was a lot, a lot of learning from him. It's an OG move, you know. Yeah, I, when yeah. I got with him, he never signed me or nothing. People thought I was signing. I thought you were signing. No, it was just a big brother, bro. I was, you know, I was, you know, I, I had my money right. Yeah, yeah. Boosie yeah. type of person. If you got your money right, he gonna look out for you. That's love. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, because the nigga he, don't owe you that. He don't owe you that. Damn. But, I mean, he was smoking out of he was smoking out of prison, straight out of prison, right? I came up to him with ten thousand dollars, and I said, "Hey, it's all I got. I want to get a verse from you." Right. You know what he said? Now you know I'm a hustler. No, he told me, "Now you know I'm a hustler," and he did it for right. me, bro. He did it for me right then and there. He followed me to. He didn't care where we went. He he went to the studio with me. It, it, it didn't matter if it was a top notch studio. Boots so real. I, I, <laughs> I took, like fuck it, let's rock. I took him to the studio. <laughs> That's super sad. I took him to the basement studio when he did the song, but I, I, but I learned from him touring. You know, uh, it, even my my mannerisms when I'm on stage performing, you'll see, you see little Bootsy in me. So would Bootsy, you would you would you say that that would even be a a like? Would you suggest that as a method to enter in the game for up and coming artists? Tap in with somebody that's out there that's solid that's doing the shit. Yeah. Invest your money with these people who are actually doing the work and get yourself. But make it work for you though. Okay. You know, okay. it worked for What me. do you mean by that? Elaborate for it. My dog, I had my dog before Boosie. You know, I had the original mm -hmm. version. I just want to fall in the dream, my dog. Like, it was it was already hot before Boosie got on it. Okay. So what happened was I I wanted to touch the streets faster. Okay. Okay. I, and okay. I said, who can I touch the streets <laughs> with the fastest? And there's to me, there ain't no bigger street Man. rapper than Boosie. Like real talk, he don't, he don't need no radio. Real talk, bro, real shit. The streets love him and respect him. He yep. a real gangster. He about yep. what he, he say he about. So yep. I respect that. Yeah. And I was like, I gotta get Boosie on this fucking song. And when he hopped on it, bro, it took the fuck off. So I mean, clearly that says something about your vision, yep. right? You're visionary too, man. Yep. You're able to see the correct moves to make. And a lot of artists fall in that hole. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so, even even with that, it, real quick, manager, no manager. How would you uh, suggest a competent artist try to navigate this game? You, Is it worth? Manage yourself until you need a manager. Yeah. Uh, why why, why I'm gonna need you to take my money when I'm only making thousand dollars a show? If it, if if that. Right. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Man, manage yourself until you need a manager. Mm-hmm. I'm at the point where I need a manager now because I'm so busy. Yeah. You yeah. know, now it's yeah. like I need you to take this. Like I was telling him outside in the, in the room, uh, like I was telling him, I said, the game is for the youth, built by the youth, for the youth. Right? Mm-hmm. I said, why you think the youngsters are winning? Why you think the youngsters are winning? It's because they have no obligations in life but other than to do music. That's right. They don't have no kids, they don't have no they don't have no bills, they don't have they don't have a uh, stress. Right. So what I do to keep myself young is I get all my stress to my manager. Allocate that shit. To my security guard, to my DJ. You take my stress. Let me be creative. Yeah. Because if I can't be creative, yeah. I can't keep up with these youngsters. I can't keep up with everybody. Everybody's rapping. That's how they coming up with the list shit. Hey, you see how I went that booth and I knocked the two verses out like that. That was so like it's that was epic. Myself young. And an epic time and like, bro, you like that shit. Like, I'm man. That, that's for something totally yeah, different. I'm a big bro. ass kid, man. bro. I don't give a fuck. What you call wow, me? Bro. I'm a big ass kid. I got a whole bunch of people that take care of me. I'm a big ass kid. That you, must be nice. You feel what I'm saying? I keep myself I young. I envy that, <laughs> man. Who makes kids? Nobody thinks bigger than a than a child. That's right. You're a absolutely child, right. A child feel like they can jump from this building to that building. Man, and, right. and it, it can happen. You're right. Because their imagination. Right. When you get older, you lose your imagination. Because you let bills get in the way, baby mama drama get in the way. You stress it. Now you can't sit there and focus on being a star. Not nah, T Real. I focus on being a star every day because it's your job. It's your job. You my manager. It's your job to take all my stress and bullshit. That's right. That's right. You my shield. Let me be creative. That's right. Man, you say something then, bro. Yeah. Let me be creative. The kids are winning. Why think little baby and and and. And who else popping? The baby. Yeah. The there baby. There you go. That Why says stuff the right there. Yeah. They All the baby as, shit. They yeah. creative as fuck. Why yeah. can they be creative? Because they're not fucking stressing. That's right. They got right. somebody that's stressing for them. I pay you to stress. Let me be creative. Yeah. We all got to do our jobs. If we don't do our jobs, then we fucking lose it. Yeah. You know, I got to, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, 27. You're teaching right now, too, bro. You know that, right? You're yeah. teaching right now. Yeah. Let me, let me keep up with these 22-year-olds. Yeah. The only way I can do it is if you let me be young. Yeah. Don't waste my youth dealing with the shows and, and no, you yeah. deal with the shows. I tell you what I this how much I want. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Let me that's that, that's the biggest, I love that the biggest shit. gym I can give you today. Damn. Stay he young. dropped it. He drops it. That young, wasn't the Stay young, stay young long as possible. Be that kid inside of you. What you just lose focus of being that child. Y'all be like, hey, bro, we got to hit the road. Oh, no, bro, I got to pay them. got to pay bills. And <laughs> they, I got two kids, man. No, nigga, no. Yeah, the industry that don't give a fuck really. about that. That ain't, that ain't going to hey, get you nowhere, yeah, bro. The industry don't want to hear that shit. They don't want, the industry don't want to hear about you got kids. They <laughs> no, want to hear some music. Yep. They want to yep. see these music videos. They want to see me on tour. Yep. They want to see me in their city. Really I can't true. be in my city because you got two kids and you got to feed them. We can feed them by going on the road and go getting this That's money. Right. Let's go have a good time and enjoy your yep. life. Because I promise you, when your kids turn 18, they ain't going to leave you. Yep. So you might as well live your life and get it popping. Yep. And, and yep. The, the Bible, Be able to leave them something. I, I think the Bible says <laughs> a man is to provide for his kids. That's right. Provide. Or mother is a nurturer. Watch this. And a good man leaving inheritance for, for his their, children. Their children. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, way. yeah. That right? Way. Man, I salute you. I'm only doing bro. what the Bible tells me to do. Real talk, bro. Right? All right. This is a man of morals, a man of ethics, y'all. I'm telling you, the more I talk to him, the more I really, really like migrate with this brother's spirit. This shit is crazy. I feel like, man, we've been popping shit forever. Next time I see you, nigga, we crack or whatever we got to crack. We crack it all the box. Yeah, all that shit. I'm trying to tell you, so, big ass kid, I'm hopping on top of every, every club I go to, I'm on top of the seat. Lit, lit, <laughs> what? No, come on, man. <laughs> You want to keep up with the music? Yeah. It's the youngsters' game, bro. Yeah, I promise yeah, you, shit. anything you do is for the youngsters, bro. Yeah. Why you yeah. think I, I like kicking with young people? Lit energy, yeah. full of energy, lit jumping around. I want to kick with the youth. That's it. Because if I ain't kicking with you, I want to be with you. I want to be in the my two mama, stepping, two stepping with my mama. <laughs> no, save that when I get fifty. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, right now, I'm lit. I'm <laughs> I'm lit. I'm in the club, bottled up. That's it. That's it. <laughs> With the newest That's shoes it. on, newest clothes. Okay. What, what we doing? We hey, stay young forever. Yeah. All right, man. I tell you what, then, man. If it was anything that we did not cover, you want to say to the people at home? Man, I got an album coming out. Yeah. Talk uh, to me about that shit, though. T- single album. I got a single coming with Fredo Bang. Okay. 
Fredo, my dog, he, we linked up. It's crazy. <laughs> See, a lot of people get on me because I make a lot of slow music. Before Mo 3 passed away, I talked Mo 3 day before he passed, right? Okay. Rest in All peace right. and happy birthday. Yeah. So he, he was like, uh, I sent him a song called Don't Blame Me. He called me back. He was like, hey, bitch, you finally made something fast. <laughs> I said, yeah, he said, I'm going to get on that bitch. He said, I got a studio session on on, on Thursday. I called him on Tuesday. He died on Wednesday. So he was going to get on it on Thursday morning. But he, but my dog, I got to talk to my dog day before he passed. But he was like, yeah, bitch, you finally made some fast shit. <laughs> That's some shit to remember. Yeah, so, right so this there. new album, I got, I got some fast shit. I, I learned I need it because I get so in my, I get so in my zone. I be making that slow music. I be making that R and B music. With I was like, oh. but let me say this shit. I really, shit though. I really can go with her too. Man, I'm talking about that shit though. That that we just heard. We were privy to some exclusive music yep. a few minutes back. It's fucking crazy, crazy though. Like it ain't like you can't cross over. They got the game fucked up if they thinking music, that, bro. bro. What the? That shit was lit though. Yeah, I ain't heard that yet. You God even, damn. You didn't even heard my pop music yet, bro. I got reggae, I got dance hall, I can do anything, bro. There's no, I'm, from the, I'm from the Midwest, and what, and, and what I say is, see, y'all, y'all in the South, Southern is known for a sound. Yes. East Coast is known for a sound. sound. West yep. Coast is known for a sound. Right. Midwest don't have a sound. Mm. We carry many sounds. Mm. Why you think Nelly was so popping? Because he can go country, he, he can go pop, yep. he can go Southern, he can go. Yep. T. Rail do the same thing. Yep. I can go pop. I can go rock. I can go country, I can go mm-hmm. dance hall, I can sing, I can sing it all. And I can come, I can come down south and get, get, kick on them 808s with y'all. What y'all want me to do? I'm from the Midwest. We pull from every region. Cause everything that I heard today was different as fuck. Yeah, my whole all album, that shit was like sound like nothing I ever heard. From my you. whole album sound like fuck. Two different artists. It, no, it's man. It's, you put that shit on random, y'all. I'm telling you, go cop that motherfucker like first. You want to get the priest? I don't make albums with directions. I just make jam after jam after jam. Right. I don't give a fuck. That motherfucker gonna blam, blam. You gonna go, ooh, ooh, damn. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck the direction. <laughs> right, right. Just make That's songs. Right. That's right. Make some shit gonna make somebody feel good. Yeah. Because yeah. if, I, if I give you 12 of them with different directions, I got something for everybody. True. Because you gotta think, I'm true. not for everybody. Right, but right. if I make a song on different levels of appreciation, everybody gets a chance to appreciate it. You're gonna find your record. Appreciate the crap in the hardest. Mm. Why are you gonna limit yourself to making mm. a sad album or just a fast album? Or There's some people that don't. Whatever why genre you, you why you just gonna make a whole trap album? Yep. You know yep. how much money you missing just doing a trap album? Yep. Yep. I'm from Kansas, bro. It's like three percent black. Damn. You get what I'm saying? I'm from Topeka, Kansas. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. Why, why would I make no? Why would I make no pop music? And right. it's, it majority of and people. And my market that, right here, goddamn, gonna eat it up. Yeah. Why limit myself? You trap. Right. Y'all right. from Memphis. You're right. You you make um, yeah. y'all from Memphis. Why y'all seeing y'all close to Nashville? Yeah. Why aren't y'all tapping in with with with, uh, with Jimmy Allen? Yeah. I got a song with Jimmy Allen coming. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's country singer. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why would I come down south so much? You want to you want to last forever? Or you want to last for a little bit? You tell me. You want to last forever, or you want to last for a little bit? I think the scope is so narrow. I think you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got to get our folks to open their vision up yeah. a little more, man. I, but that's what you're doing. That's why I say it's teaching. I think they're scared to be trendsetters too. They rather be followers. I don't want to be no follower, bro. I want to do what I want to do. Yeah. You like my fans like me for me. You come to me for me. Yeah. If you don't like me, there's another artist you can go listen to. But I'm True. pretty sure True. That I have a cult fan base. I have a fan base that come out to see me, period. I may, I may not be on the radio 24-7. Right. I, I deserve to be. Yeah. You know, I work my ass off. But I have a certain fan base that really follows me. I really pack out shows. Just and that's, the, that's what makes the difference. That's what makes the difference. Yeah. Because I, can- I always done me. I went to a record label and, and, the, and the dude told me he said uh, he said you did it your way and it worked. And also when I got when I first went with Nelly, mm-hmm. he said I don't ever want to interfere in what you're doing because at the end of the day you put yourself on, you do it your way. 
And if you if it don't work, only person you can get mad at is, is yourself. So That's anybody right. that I sign that come to my label, I tell them the same thing. I let, I was just talking to God just a second ago. She said, I have my own vision for the video. Mm-hmm. I said, you can do the video however you want to do it. Right. Because at the end That's of the right. day, That's right. if it don't That's work. Right. That's me. right. You cannot your get mad at T Rail. Your accountability got to be for Because I'm going to tell you now, you said yep. Yep. you wanted to do it your way. Right. But when you want me to step in, Big Bro here. A big Bro is here, yeah. but I'm going to rock with you and guide you. I'm going to stand behind you and push your Either way it go. Yeah, Either way it right. go. That's right. Because I right. believe in you and your vision. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I do. That's why I, I rock with artists. I'm just going to give you So you're managing me. artists. I got. I got artists I'm putting on. Yeah. Okay. I got a couple of them I'm putting on. Okay. Anybody want to shout out? Uh, I got Goddess here with me right now. She gonna That's be one of them. We already got that. Uh, yeah. Already. Right. DJ. DJ Goddess. 405 in the city. You know what I'm saying? OKC. Out here in Memphis. Here we doing it big. Yeah. I got. A, I have a young artist I'm putting on. She's out of Texas. Her name is Sassy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She, uh, she, she crazy. She sang her ass off. Okay. Uh, and I got this young cat out of Wichita. I can't say his name yet because we ain't said it in all the way yet. Okay. Okay, but, that's what's up. I'm out of Kansas, though. I'm trying to put some Kansas artists on. So you're fixing to make a label or you yeah, just going to manage Winners it? Only. Okay, that's what's up. W L Winners Only. TRM, T, TRM is my music. That's When I drop T Real Music, that's my right. music. So whenever I drop my stuff, it's big shots out of T Real Music. But all my artists will be signed under Winners Only. That's going to be a production brand and a clothing brand. Not clothing brand, production brand and a label. Okay. I'm about to start shooting my own movies. Cause we finna talk about that clothing brand you and I, so uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> get you some merch yeah. out there ASAP, bro. Yeah. I need it. I believe in that they don't give big boys enough clothes. I want to do something for big dogs. Okay, you know? all right. You know, we go to the store. The little dude got the thirty sixes and thirty eight and thirty fours. Yeah, forty two. Why you only send two pairs of forty two? Yeah. Knowing all these fucking fast food restaurants y'all put out here, all these motherfucking food y'all put out here, ten goddamn McDonald's on the way to this stuff, and you want and, and you expect everybody to wear a thirty two and thirty four. Yeah. yeah, no, That's fucked up. You need to put more forty twos. You need, yeah. you need to put more forty twos and forty fours up in there, bro. More two X's and three X's. Y'all y'all got all these red lobsters and Denny's and and, 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 and Popeyes chickens and chicken sandwiches, and y'all expecting yeah. and y'all expecting us not. We want to dress dip too. <laughs> Fat niggas want to dress up too. Yeah, real shit, real shit. I'm tired of going out. there. I, I have to buy my shit. Out. I have to buy my clothes in spurts. Like I, like oh, this is a nice pair of pants. And go to another state. Oh, this is a nice. Damn, shirt. he said another state. I gotta go to different states to find shit and put it together. No, I should be able to go to one spot. <laughs> and it's just for big dogs. Now let's dress yeah. like the little dudes. I promise you, the person who opens that store is gonna be rich and they owe me money because I have to set it first. Well, we gonna yeah. do it. Fuck it. We gonna do that shit. We ain't gonna wait on nobody else to get that. Call motherfucker big dogs. <laughs> oh, they fuck what we call it. The store for so big men to get clothes. What we gonna real- do? We gonna open no. big dogs or what? It's a damn shame. Dog. It's a damn shame. They want big niggas to dress like Ruben. Not everybody want to be Ruben. I don't want to wear no damn button up here, guy. I want to swag out, bro. Sweater and a golf. I don't want to wear that shit. <laughs> You know Trust that shit, yeah, real shit. They need a store with more big clothes for big. I promise you, bro. Yeah. Cause big dudes are always looking for clothes. Every time, I, every time, cause I be dressed up. That's a niche dressed. market for real. real I get shit. dressed. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. And when I dress up, that big dude be like, bro, where you get your jeans? Cause it's so hard for me to find you. Or where you get that shirt? That look, bro. You know how much money a person will make if they made a store for big dude clothing. That was actually urban. There's no urban store for big right. boy clothing. Right. You sure ain't lying. I There's big and tall. Yep. And that's and that's more they, they give me the yep. wide leg ass jeans and the and polo shirts. shirts. The shirts go to your knees. Yeah, bro. Yep. <laughs> big, yep. If you had big big dog clothing that was dressed like this, yep. Yep. you're gonna make so much money, bro. Just give me my royalties. We're gonna try that shit, bro. <laughs> just give me my royalties. Y'all heard it here first. We just put together a million dollar concept right there. Extending my vision. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Just get, make sure you get my royalties when you get it's on video. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> he said bro. Bro. I'm an Aries, bro. I, I, I come out with ideas fast. I, I'm a shit starter. You know, I, right, I right. So you have to be thinking fast. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm <laughs> also a kid, too, bro. You know, I'm mine. You get what I'm oh, saying? I seen y'all right. video the other day. You were running and chasing behind him like you big deep off. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. I, I, big, uh, big little worm? Yeah, I sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Faison. I love it. Shout out to That's my That's my OG. That's my big dog. Hey, right, before we finish it up, I mean, right. can you do a uh, drop right quick with me and Bray? Uh, 
make a statement. That's all we just did. Yep. Okay. He 